Hello and welcome to your West Ham transfer latest show and there's not a lot being changed in terms of rumours but what has changed is there's only 55 days to go until that window changes and of course the guests I'm joined by Tom and Bess tonight where I'll be getting their opinions on the latest rumours and gossip surrounding West Ham's transfer window and we're starting with our new goalkeeper or who we're expecting to be our new goalkeeper Bess Fabianski around about £7 million and um, supposedly he's already had his medical before he went to the World Cup in order to get the deal through so that he doesn't have to leave the Poland camp are you happy with uh, Fabianski coming in as your goalkeeper? Um, it's a bit of a... I, I'm, I'm, I'm really sat on the fence about this one. I, there's been a lot of... I, I haven't been uh, that happy, but I think with Adrian and he's got to be better than Joe Hart, I, I think Fabianski would be, a, be a, a good number two again. I think we've, again, I, I don't know if he's like... I think he's still got a bit to prove. Obviously, Swansea went down and a lot of Swansea supporters are saying that he was a great goalkeeper for him last year. They were really impressed with with him. Um, the fact of the matter lies is they still got relegated and I'm still not convinced that the, buying a relegated goalkeeper is the answer for us. I hope I'm wrong. Um, I'm not saying he's terrible. I'm saying that Arsenal didn't want him. So is that really where we want to be at? He, was it a one one hit wonder season where he had a good season for Swansea? Uh, I'm, I'm still sat on the fence about it, Gio. I hope I'm proved wrong. I mean, okay, six, seven million. I have heard the deal's done. I'm just waiting to be announced now. Um, but again, I'm, st I'm just still sat on the fence about it. A lot, a lot of you guys are, are quite happy about it, but I'm, I'm still a little bit unsure. So, what about yourself, Tommy? He's 33 years of age. He's only got one year left at Swansea as well. But he was their Player of the Year last year and made has made a lot of saves in the last three seasons. The top number for saves for the, in the Premier League for the last three years. Are you happy with this deal, or are you a bit disappointed? And you feel like we should have got someone a bit better to really nail the number one shirt? Yeah, I do think we should have got some potentially a bit better, Joe. But I'm, I am happy the fact we're getting him. But it does mean, unfortunately, I know Bez mentioned there that he's going to be number two. I don't think he will be. I think he'll be number one. And I think it will force Adrian out, which I'm not... Is he better than Adrian? Yeah, I think I think more than like... I think he is a better keeper than Adrian. But Adrian's been very loyal to us, hasn't he? You know, And um, it's a bit of a... Seven million quid is a bit... It's, a, it's in the price range, it, we haven't actually got 25, 30 million pounds to spend on one of the other goalkeepers that we, you know, the young English goalkeepers that we mentioned before in previous shows. So, seven million pounds, yeah, it's a bit, it's, it's, it's a good price. And 33 for goalkeepers, nothing really, let's be honest. They, they can go to four easily. So, I'm sure, I'm sure, it, I'm sure it did well for us. I'm, I'm sure it did well. Being reported tonight also is that West Ham have agreed a fee with Toulouse for their centre back and under twenty one French captain is a deal. Tom, I'm not expecting you to know much about him, but in regards of what you read, i.e. he's powerful, he's he's good at passing the ball, etc., and he's only twenty one years of age. Is this the type of deal you'd like to see happen at West Ham this summer? Yes, hundred percent. And this is definitely I think this is definitely Pellegrini. Uh, getting his nose in the door, and because he seems to be, he seems Pellegrini to me seems to be um, aiming for a lot of players from the French league. I don't know if that's just the way it is, but you can see that Fabianski, is Fabianski a Pellegrini signing, was that a Sullivan sign? I'm not too sure. Um, but no, yeah, this is definitely a Pellegrini signing, young, and you know, am I, what's the price tag, Joe? About 15 million plus future add-on should he be a success. Uh, it's, that's a sort of going rate, isn't it? Really? Uh, no, that's that's a good good price. And uh, if he turns out to be unbelievable, you know, we're going to get the best of him. So yeah, that's that, that's a sort of player. And yeah, definitely, hundred percent happy with that. What about yourself, Bez? You weren't too keen on the Fabianski for seven million. What about Diop for fifteen? Again, like I'm not expecting you to know who Diop is or know much about him. We're quite honest on this channel. We're happy to say that. But as I said to Tom, he's young. He's he's well sought after apparently he was once linked with barcelona put into context and um, it could be considered a coup by the people that are experts in the french league to get him to west ham is this type of transfer that makes you happy i mean i'm certainly happy at buying someone and taking that gamble at some of the age of 21. um from what i do know he did play to lose and Toulouse did just avoid relegation again in the french league i think they won a playoff um in the relegation battle so but he is sought after i mean one thing i did read up on him is he does like a booking he does like a red card um you know he ain't which i'm not going to criticize anyone for taking a booking because at the end of the day some bookings are tactical and some bookings need to be taken and i'm never gonna doubt him for that but yeah I was, you know i'm all for 15 million for a 21 year old 
like you say, I hope it's Pellegrini's kind of what he wants. And yeah, by all means, my only concern is dependent on how many centre halves we're looking at because we are looking at other ones as well. It just makes me ask, think, what are they going to do with the ones that we've got already? Because I know Reed is injured still. We've got Ogbonna, we've got Rice. Unless he has got other better plans for Rice. There's yeah, there's a lot of talk of centre halves and not really a lot of talk of forward attacking players maybe. As Bez mentioned, we are linked with other centre-backs and one centre-back that might be expected to rock up in London Stadium for next season as well, as I said, Diop, is Swansea's, um, Fabianski's Swansea teammate, Alfie Moss and Bez. What's your thoughts on this one? Round about the £20-25 million pound mark. We're linked with him in January. You've said you're not too sure about Fabianski because Swansea got relegated. Well, he, he was also part of the defence that got relegated. Are you happy with the individual as a player or do you still have doubts over this transfer? Yeah, again, you know, of course I'm going to have doubts. I mean, like you say, Swansea got relegated and, you know, unfortunately Fabianski and Mawson have to take some responsibility for that. You know, I'm not saying that it was solely individually their 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 fault, but at the same time, as a fan, I mean, a lot of, like you say, a lot of people want him, but is he overpriced at 20 to 25 million? I probably would say yes. If he was more on the 15 million kind of mark, I would maybe say, yeah, let's take a punt on him. Um, again, appreciate the fact that he is still young, but we're again looking at players that are relegated or they're on that cuff of relegation. I mean, I'm not saying that all players that get relegated turn out to be absolute shite, but at the same time, you know, can't we like be interested in some players that you know, are all right. I know we're going to obviously pay a lot more money, but it seems like we're targeting them same sort of players. And I don't know. I'm again, I'm not really convinced, still, mate. I'm not really convinced. Tom, that's two centre backs we're linked with, and um, supposedly in the final stage of negotiations with them. Can West Ham afford to be spending um, 35 40 million on two centre backs when we've already got a Bon and Reed, etc., at the football club? Well, the fact they are Joe obviously speaks volumes. I think I've heard rumours that obviously he's going to potentially move Dice to the CDM role, so that could solve that thing there. So, and that obviously means um, Reed, obviously, as you know, his injury record is horrific. It really is. Reed's a fantastic player, but I think Pedigreen has come in and I think he's identified that as a serious issue. And they do say, you know, you, it starts in the back, you know, attacking all that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, I. I it is a worry, yeah, because obviously a, a rumoured transfer kit is 60, 70 million only, you know. So, um, as you know, we definitely do need other positions still. So, but Pellegrin is obviously identified as a problem. So, we have to trust his judgment, unfortunately. The one thing that these two centre backs do have in, uh, in coincidence together, they do have in similarities, is they're both ball playing centre backs, Tom. Is, are you happy to see West Ham going for centre backs that can keep the ball play out in the back and essentially probably fits Pellegrini's style of play? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, if if there isn't, if there's any negative, really, Ogbonna doesn't do it so much as as much. But if there's any negative, and obviously Declan Rice doesn't do it as much. But Rinson Reed has got a really bad habit of literally just punting it right upfield. And when we had Ginger as well, obviously Ginger no longer here, obviously. But um, yeah, that's one of the things that really annoyed me. Literally, we just sort of we've held all the pressure, we've sort of dealt with it. But then, especially Reed, he would literally lump it up. So it is good the fact that we are getting these centre uh, centre backs, the ones that play on the floor. So yeah, definitely, Gio. Uh, well, we're not linked with any defensive midfielders, as Tom said. It is rumoured that Declan Rice or, or Anne Pablo Zabaleta may be the option for Pellegrini there next season. We are linked with an attacking midfielder as a winger from Lazio, and we have been for the last fortnight. For the last week or so, it's been rumoured that Philippe Anderson is close to joining West Ham United, and the rumours are still just that. Um, Bez, it sounds like there's a small matter of fee, five million or so appears to be the difference but would you be happy to see Anderson come to West Ham next season is he the type of player we need to replace Lanzini uh, um, I'm definitely happy with someone like him coming to our squad uh, at the end of the day it does annoy me really I mean look, I can understand they want to try and save as much money as possible but at the same time come on cut the bullshit let's just get just get the, that lad over the line you know I mean we need to get some of these players in you know there's I've heard a couple of rumours tonight as well about a couple of players maybe certainly one might be on the way out and we need to start getting them in like you say Lanzini's injured there's still um, I'm in an R in about Jao Mario so we might be also losing another uh, a midfielder there you know we really need to think about like you know as well as like 
strengthening at the back, which I can appreciate that Pellegrini wants to do, we do need to start thinking about other positions, certainly midfield and going forward. It's all right having a defensive back line, but it's just going to be like watching Dave, David Moyes again. Do you know what I mean? What, are we going to be playing five at the back again, like like last season? It's it, As fans, it, it doesn't really like, it doesn't sell really. I, yeah, I, I'd love to see him here. I mean, I haven't seen much of the guy. You know, he seems pretty flair. He seems pretty pacey. You know, get, let's get him on board and you know see what happens. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't arm and ar about an extra cut of the million if that's what they're holding out for. You know, all the games and that. Let's just get it over the line. While it appears that the player has agreed personal terms with West Ham, Lazio and West Ham are haggling over around about five million. But the other thing they're haggling over, Tom, is the sell-on clause. Apparently, Lazio want to include a twenty percent sell-on clause if we sell them in the future. West Ham are trying to do it for the profit side of things rather than the transfer fee. But if it was a transfer fee, does it concern you that we would have to hand over a fifth of the transfer to Lazio in the future? Or are you not bothered about them types of things? Because if we sell him for big money, it means he's been a success. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't bother me, Joe. If, if that's what it is, just get the deal done. As Bez mentioned, you know, and uh, I, I put a thing out on Twitter and said to people, I don't know nothing about him, but apparently they went, a couple of hammers went to the Rome derby of, back in April, I think, or a few months ago. And they said that... Who was that guy? And that was the guy that, that that stood out for him in the game, you know. And they said he was really, and that's he could, he's he would be ideal for us. So you've got to try to have a hammer's judgment on it. And yeah, if, if it's if it's minute over five, I mean, but we've, we've been here before, and I mean, you are right. I mean, look, I mean, Pellegrini, he's only just come back from his holes, and I think he's director of football's only just come in. We've got, and the World Cup's obviously in full swing, so. Unfortunately, I did. I did personally want to get a couple of players over the line before the World Cup, and then per, that's my own personal thing. It hasn't happened, you know. But we just got to trust. We just got to trust now, you know. I don't like to say we just got to trust. Hopefully, things are getting done. But if it is the rumoured, like you said, it, it is pretty petty, really. Uh, one player that was linked with us early in transfer window, which went quiet, is now seems to be back on is Pastoria of PSG. Paris Saint Germain have apparently got to raise about 60 million in transfer fees in the next week before, to comply with FFP regulations in terms of the UEFA Champions League. Bez, would you like to see Pastoria come here, or are you concerned that it's quite a big wage structure for someone who's been in and out of the side and is now 29 years old? I'd love to see Pastoria at West Ham. You know, I think he's a quality player. Um, like you so say, I'm a little bit worried about like the demands of his wages. What's he wanting? 180 grand a week? I mean, it's a lot of money, isn't it? But at the same time, it's one of them catch 22s. Like you, you either you either front that kind of money these days because money does demand it. And but then again, oh, it's 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 the last thing we want is another player on 180 grand a week and ain't going to play for us. I mean, we've done it with Hernandez last year. He's, he's our highest paid player and Carroll and they don't even play. And it's like, I'm, that's what I'm concerned about more is the fact that we're going to lump all this money into somebody paying him all this money every week. And he's not fancied. I, I don't know. I mean, if we could get him cheap enough, um, you know, if we could get him really, really cheap. I mean, what's what, what's he? What's what do they want? What twenty five, thirty million for him, or something like that? Is that? Um, just under twenty million. Apparently, that's oh. the, the deal. If you like, you're getting him quite cheap. So, but you have to take his wages on. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, it, like you said, it's one of them. You've got to weigh it up. If we can get him cheap enough, then maybe I'll take a punt on him. But then again, you know, other players are going to start coming in and demanding more money. So, it's kind of that one. Yeah, he's a great player, mate. I'm not going to deny that. There you go, five incoming transfer rumours, one outgoing transfer rumour to discuss in a minute, but that's five that's supposedly incoming. Fabianski seems really close. Diop apparently has a few uh, agreed, and other three are still heavily linked to West Ham. But the one we're going to discuss going out, Tom, we've discussed them before, is, is the rumours are back again. West Ham have said through their unofficial channels, if you like, that Mikhail Antonio is going nowhere this summer and he should be fit for the game against Liverpool. But... There is still rumours linking him away from the London Stadium. Tom, would you sell him or would you keep him? <laughs> I've always said I'd sell him, Gio, personally, you know. Um, but wait, to, to jump in, you said that before Lanzini got an injury now. So now with Lanzini injured, has your perspective of this changed? Yeah, in in a way, I, I suppose it has, Gio, you know, but this is... But look... Uh, Pellegrini has obviously took a hard long. I mean, I'm sure Pellegrini would not let him go if he sees him as a vital, even as a squad player, you know. So, and I'm sure that he would only let him go if that money is definitely going to be re reinvested back into the team. So, 
this is totally down to the manager. You know, yeah, if you bring that into the, into the throw, I'm, I'm sure Pellegrini's fall out as well, you know. But he hasn't been the same player. You are right. He was a hammer of the season the first year at the, at the uh, new ground. And he, I, I do miss Antonio from the last season at Upton Park on that first year. But unfortunately, last year, he's had a year to year from hell. You know, he really has injuries. And he, he just... But hey, it's, it's, this is one of the things. I, I'm To be honest, Gio, I personally... Yeah, on, on the basis of um, Lanzini being out, I wouldn't sell him now. But I wouldn't be disappointed if he's sold. You know, it's one of them ones. I'm happy either way. I, I, that's my judgment on it. Bez, how many of you at the London Stadium two years ago in the first year there? Would you be keeping him or would you be trying to move him on and get as much money as you can to be reinvested in the squad? Or are you a bit like Tom where Pellegrini gets a free hit on this and either way, you're satisfied? Um, I'd get rid of... There's no doubt in my mind that Antonio is a great player on his day. He, he, he's, he's undefendable. But the fact of the matter is, I just last season, whether it's through injury, whether it's through his attitude, I've just seen a change in Antonio. And I don't know if he, he either don't want to be at the club. He's probably had enough of the bullshit from the board. He's probably had enough. He's probably had enough himself, like we did as fans. You know, there were certain games last season where he come on the pitch. He looked tired after like. 25 30 minutes and i just I, I, i'm just done with whatever whether it's personal problems whether it's club problems whether it's an issue here there or any i'm just done with the bullshit it's just he doesn't give that perception to fans like he is interested and like you say it's it's a shame because undoubtedly he is a great player and you know on his day he, he can change a game i'm not i'm really not saying that but if we can get a good fee for him i think Maybe it's time to to swap it around a bit, and I don't know. I mean, I would probably price Antonio at what twenty twenty five million. I, I certainly would put him in that category. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know what you guys would price him at, but I think that if we could get twenty five million, thirty million for him, which people might laugh at, um, I think that's a great little bit more of the kitty to go back in. As long as if we sell him, that money gets put back in. If it doesn't, we we keep him. So unfortunately. The board only, only only the board can to, can answer that question really. Um, yeah, I would. I think it's time for him to go, mate. Well, there you have it. Bez isn't too keen on the defensive players we're linked with, but he's happy with the attacking ones. Tom's happy to see ball playing centre backs be linked to the London Stadium this summer, and Bez wants to see Antonio sold. Manuel Pellegrini is back from his holidays on Monday and comes back to West Ham to start his job officially, so that we could see the transfer for deal, um, dealings really speeding up next week. We'll be here with you, bringing you the latest. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. 55 today is going the window. We'll be here with you all the way. <laughs>